Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. I've got a good one for you, but it's really bad. So you're watching I allegedly, and uh, I have a meeting down in San Diego this morning with my agent. So I can't wait to see him because he's fantastic. And uh, I am at Tamarack Beach right now, which we've been to before here in Carlsbad. And uh, a lot of junk got swept in with the tide. So it's kind of interesting to see things like this. But a uh, lot to cover, man. There's some crazy stuff going on in the world right now that affects each and every one of us. And again, it's bad for all of us. So like, subscribe, comment in the video. And today we have a sponsor, Private Internet Access, and I will talk about them in a bit. But uh, first things first, guys. Three billion, three billion uh, personal information files were taken on each and every person in the United States, Canada. Uh, I mean, it's crazy, absolutely crazy, in, in England too. They sell this information on the dark web and they have everything on us. Think about this. They stole all of our date of births, all of our socials, <clears throat> our addresses, previous addresses, phone numbers, and workplace. Basically, guys, you could take Dan and you could apply for credit for Dan. Mother's maiden name, oh, got it all, baby. But uh, check this out, okay. This beach, you get the tide. This is that really rocky beach I've shown you guys before. It's got the cliffs and we've walked around this when the tide's low. But you get all this sea moss that comes in that's never here. It wasn't here last time. And it's got a little longboard surfers out here. Crazy. So this data that was stolen was offered on the dark web for, think about this, three and a half million dollars. You could buy the data on every single person in the United States. Well, that's a heck of a deal. You know, that, that's crazy that, uh, that this happened. And again, this is happening more and more and more. My question is, when does the credit companies like Experian, Equifax, TransUnion, when do they step in and when do they protect us? Because, oh, we just store your data, we just report what's reported to us. Well, wait a second, there's gotta be a way to protect us for when our data gets stolen and when we get compromised. But no, so again, this is, this is so serious that this has happened and this is getting worse and worse and worse right now. Okay, so let me show you guys how cool this is. Just a really nice spot, different. And again, I'm in San Diego County right now. So with all of our data being compromised, with it being sold on the black web, you know, Name of the group, N2DOD, that stole, that uh, is selling it right now. This is terrible. The Washington Times, which they say is a conservative newspaper, whether that's irrelevant or not, they got hacked. They're, you can buy all their personal information for uh, the price of uh, four Bitcoin right now. So for four Bitcoin, you can go out and buy all the data that was hacked from the Washington Times. When does it end, guys? When does it end? They finally arrested and convicted a Russian hacker, and he's getting four years in jail. It, it doesn't seem like enough for this stuff. It does not seem like enough. So, these problems are happening more and more and more. And we hear about it all the time, but what's happening is that people's lives are really getting destroyed by this. Again, I was the victim of identity theft. Somebody filed a tax return in my name. You have to protect yourself. You have to check to see if your information has been stolen. Now, one thing that I found through these articles and everything with the research was I found a site that you can punch your personal information. It's totally free and it'll tell you if your personal information is has been hacked. So check it out. You know, go to uh, the video description. You'll see the link. 
and I'll highlight it so that you'll be able to see if your data's been stolen or not. This is a big deal, guys. You really need to check it. You really need to take the time to do this and see if your data's been compromised, to say the least. See this place? Kind of cool. It's got a Grand Canyon type feel to it. But who knows, man? Nobody seems to, you know, think that this is a big deal. We keep getting distracted with election nonsense. And is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? I mean, come on, guys. This is, this is serious. And we have to protect ourselves. You have to check your credit report. You have to see if, uh, if uh, your data has been stolen. Here's the worst part. This is where people will burn in hell for this. One thing that's been sold is dead people's information. People that have passed away, that have stolen their credit cards. And again, you know, Grandpa Joe died six months ago. Nobody's thinking about running his credit because they mourn the loss of this individual. You have to go out and you have to do this. You have to check it to see if this guy's been compromised. Isn't that terrible to think about? It's happening, guys. It's happening. So, a lot to cover out here. Again, this is Tamarack Beach. All of this that I'm walking on right now was here six months ago. None of that was there. Look at that. Not wild. That's all seaweed that's dried out. It smells lovely, too. Oh, my gosh. Won't be my new cologne. I'll tell you that. So. But tides will change. You'll come here in a few months. This will all be gone. And then you'll get all these rocks out here. So these long borders love this place. They love to use this. Very fun. We've got a paddle border out there right now. You know, just very cool. So share your thoughts on this stuff so far right now. Look at that link below. This is totally free to do this, guys, to see if you've been compromised or not, and it's worth doing. So let me know what you think about this. Let's talk about our sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network, and this is more important to get than ever before. With all these talks about hackings and people's data being stolen, you need to protect yourself at home and when you're online at work. What you need to do is get private internet access. There's no hardware to install. It is very simple. It is the click of one button. Like on my cell phone here, all I have to do is click that one button and when it turns green like that, I can go on the web and I'm totally protected. They have given us a deal where we get two things that are unbelievable, 83% off and it covers every device in your household. Think about this, your laptop, your iPad, your personal computer, your cell phone, everything is covered with one account per household. Absolutely amazing. Check it out today, use the link below. It is pennies a day. It was the I allegedly product of the year for 2022 and 2023. I used this product before they became a sponsor and now they've been a sponsor for two years on this channel. Absolutely amazing. But what this does is it gives you a tunnel of encryption from your device to any website that you go to, you are completely protected from the government, from hackers, from anybody seeing your data. Think about this, it even protects your search history so that if people, you know, you don't wanna share where you've been, what you're searching for, none of us do. It protects you with that. The other things, if you like sports or you like things that you need to be in different parts of the world right now and be able to click around, you can click with one button different areas in the United States and different countries in the world for sporting events and things like that. Sign up today for private internet access. It's never been cheaper. They've given us an amazing deal. Use the link below and get it today. Do you think that things in the world are kind of crazy right now like I do? You know, walking through the Third Street promenade yesterday, pointing out to my kids, you know, how a beloved shopping spot that we had, I mean, we can't even count how many times we went down there and spent the entire day there to where they would be tired. And we'd eat sometimes at two different restaurants, shopping, hanging out, going to the movies, doing everything. And now it's utterly destroyed. Do you get sick of this stuff? Do you get sick of what they're telling us 
that we just go, huh, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem like it's making sense, okay? How about this one? I was going to do an entire video on this subject, but I'm just gonna throw it here. But again, this is insane. There are countries that want to know that you have financial stability in your life to enter their country. Do you have $2,000 in a bank account? Sure I do, prove it, prove it. You don't, oh, you can't prove it, leave. Get out, you're not coming in. Think about what I just said. We don't do that here. Come on in and we'll give you five grand. We'll give you 15,000. You've seen the stories. You know, the Marriott chain right now is suing a hotel because the owner of the hotel took it upon himself that he could get almost $350 a day for his Marriott and uh, selling it to the newcomers, okay? And giving them free rooms. Marriott's a little upset about that. So the other thing is Brazil. Brazil is the latest country that if you're going to stay beyond a simple vacation, you're gonna stay for two weeks beyond, show us that you've got money in your bank account. Show us that you've got two extra pages on your passport in case you move throughout the country or you go someplace else. We don't want you here if you don't have the financial stability. Now, this led me down a path because here's the thing. There's other countries that do the same thing, which I didn't know this. Why don't we do this? Why don't we sit there and say, prove that you've got the financial wherewithal to be here? No, because we're the land of free love and free stuff and free food. It's insane, okay? So uh, here you go. Uh, you know, If you go beyond a couple weeks, how about this? Mexico is one of the uh, countries. Canada, Mexico, France, Italy, Belize, and Iceland. Uh, you know, you need the proof of funds with your visa so you can stay an extended period of time. Who knew that? Who knew that? That's not advertised anywhere. Read the story below, because it's awesome. And the other ones that, uh, you know, have, have done this for a while, supposedly it's been talked about, is Australia, Bolivia, Cuba. Let's go to Cuba. Let's do it, man. Okay? Ropa Vieja. Let's get some food. It's the only thing I know from Cuban food. Anyways. Uh, Egypt, India, 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 hello, Kenya, Vietnam, Italy, and then Brazil. Now, okay, you understand, guys, this is insanity, absolute insanity. We live in a world where if you want to go there and you think you're going to stay for an extended period of time, prove that you're financially worthy, prove that you're not just there to suck off of our resources. That's what it says. We just don't want you to be a burden on our society, but it's okay for you to come here and be a burden on us. You saw that destroyed city yesterday, okay? Come on, guys. When do you sit there and, and question this? When? Does, does this make any sense? Have any of you ever extended, uh, done an extended stay in any of these countries where they wanted this information? Isn't that crazy? So. Seems logical to me, doesn't it to you? Well, what are you doing here? You got a one-way ticket? Why? When are you leaving? How about that? Well, I'm not leaving. I just think I'd love to check this place out. Maybe I'll live here. No, show me you got some money and then maybe you can stay. So again, rules that we have to answer to and other people don't. Almost got hit by that wave. But let me know what you think about this, guys, because I think it's ridiculous that we don't ask for the same thing. That's what I'm trying to say. When you guys write me and tell me these ridiculous horror stories about how you were ripped off for a small amount of money, it really does get me angry. And we need to fight back on things like this. A woman <laughs> sent me a story about how she had driven a car to do a test drive. And when she did the paperwork, they charged her an additional $150 on the car. Why is that? Well, because you drove the test drive too long. Huh? What are you talking about? I bought the car. Yeah, it was just too long. Well, guys, I'm telling you, I'm sick of people chiseling people. I'm sick of people $150 in 
people to death. My son recently applied for an apartment with him and his buddies, and they had to put down a deposit, not a credit uh, deposit, but a deposit for the place. And then they said, yeah, you get the place. Okay, well, we can't do it now. This guy's gonna back out. He can't get the job in the city. Okay, well, we're keeping your deposit. I, I'm, I don't even know how that's legal. I'm gonna look into this. But my point is that don't tolerate this when you get $150 to death or different fees and things like that. It's absolutely outrageous that these things happen. And as people get more desperate in business, you're going to see this more and more and more. It's not going to be like, wow, this is an anomaly. No, it's going to be that people are broke and they need to steal. You come in, you're a mark. And that's a terrible thing to, to, to say. The other thing is that in California, there are more cities that have starter homes that cost over a million dollars right now. Great story below about this. And then it started making me look at other, con uh, other countries, other states that had really high starter homes. You've got markets around the country, like my buddy's in Colorado Springs right now, and we always do this thing, I do it, he does it, where you go to these different areas, and when you get there, you ch oh, let's check out the real estate, let's see how much things are here. And he said, Dan, things are expensive, food is expensive, the air is nice, but uh, they're charging you for everything. It's not an inexpensive place to live. So, noted that. Okay, but this is happening more and more. Inflation has hit us all. You know, the, the big lie that, oh, don't worry, everything is gonna go down. We're gonna make it go down. We're gonna charge them for price gouging. Who is price gouging other than a few people that are doing this? Everything is more expensive right now, everything. Redfin, the person that handles the inventory for the website Redfin says, when we get to 2025, there's going to be an abundance of increased inventory in the real estate market. Well, don't you think they know this? Their business is built on the data. That's how they make money. So these data thieves go out there and they have all this information and they know that you're going to see more houses for sale in 2025. An abundance of inventory. I want to show you guys something. This. See how tall this is? It's about 10 feet tall right there. Because of this stack of seaweed right now, you can walk up on this area. Isn't this crazy? Somebody dug this out into the, into the sand. But look at this, guys. Isn't that crazy? So, an abundance of inventory. My foreclosure buddies are both convinced that it's just they're holding it together for the election, trying to keep it so that people don't get freaked out. Well, that should freak you out. If you hear that these banks are having trouble and they're doing everything they can not to report the foreclosures, not to report the bad loans, you know, the people that have abandoned retail properties completely, just left and are not servicing them. They're not talking about this stuff. This is a problem. This is a problem. So. You know, Trump is talking about, you know, he came up with the no tax on tips. Now he doesn't want to tax Social Security. Here's the thing. As I get older and I talk to my friends that are like 10 years older than me, and they're telling me all these restrictions that they have on their Social Security. I never knew that. I was blown away by how these guys are taxed and how ridiculous it is. And you get a guy that's retired that you know, works and he's got his social security and saved money and is not doing anything and wants to get out of the house to get away from his wife. You know a couple of those guys, but just to do something. Well, I can only make this much money because of my social security. That's crazy guys. There should be no tax on that. And I agree with that. So let me know what you think about this. Plus, uh, 2025, your COLA, your cost of living increase is going to be very light. It's going to be the lightest since 2011. The lightest COLA adjustment since 2011. So you got that to look forward to or not look forward to, if you know what I mean, because the thing I've learned is that as inflation goes up, this money does not keep up with you. It just doesn't. We have all these people getting all this free money 
and our seniors are not taken care of. Our vets are not taken care of. Come on, man. I, I, I just... This is absolutely tragic. I don't want to hear about anybody that cannot afford a meal. And I'm not talking about eating out and having lunch and, and, you know, sitting there in valet park. I'm not talking that. I'm talking about people that just want to get by. It is tragic right now, okay? So let me know what you think about all this stuff so far. A different spot, all the long borders walking by. Just a fun, fun spot. I'm going to finish this video with these last few stories and uh, before I do, if you're on our email list, check your spam filter because an email just went out and it is amazing. So check that out. Also, don't forget the Bob questions. We're setting the date in the next few days. If you want to ask Bob Kudla a question, send me an email to hello at iallegedly.com and put Bob in the title of the, of the email so that we know it's a Bob question because you guys sent a bunch yesterday. It was very cool few things. Walmart says, hey, prices are finally starting to come down, which is ridiculous. But on dry goods and certain snack items, you're not seeing the price go down at all. So in other words, the stuff people are buying at Walmart, it's not going down. So Cisco, Cisco was talking about their job layoffs. It's not 4,000, it's 6,000 people are losing their jobs. 6,000 people. Hello. That's worse than I thought. Final, final story. Unemployment. South Africa, at least they're honest. Unemployment in South Africa is 33.5%. 33.5%. Wow. 8.4 million people are unemployed in that country. And it's a real problem. It's a real problem, guys. So, stare case. <laughs> Please don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share your thoughts on everything. And I will see you guys very soon.